So no one just dropped a 3.0 version with a powerful AI agent that can do anything. But before you run to try it out, watch this video to know what you can do with it. So with the Nuance system version, I will create a local project so I can keep all the files on my device. I'm gonna call it my amazing app because it will be amazing. Okay, so now I will pick the location where I will store the local project. And here I can see my project opened. On the left side, I can now open the chat for the AI agent. So let's see what we can do here. So I will write a prompt to create a music streaming app with a playlist great featured artist and current laying part. All right, it says it will help me to create a beautiful music streaming app. And I can see here the thinking process of the agent. Awesome, I can see parts of the app now coming together. Now I can see here also what the AI created or tweaked inside the project. Now I run the app instantly without waiting for builds and look how beautiful it is. But let's see how it will look like on other devices like an iPad or maybe an Android device. What about a desktop version? So let's try to play it as a Mac OS app for example or Windows, we can do that. But now let's go back to the original. All right, so now the time for the second screen. I will prompt it to create the other screen where I can see my music playing and I want the same style to be there. I can see now it's already fetching the style from the existing project and now it created a new screen called now playing screen. But it's not done yet, so I'm still waiting. Now it's done and I can see a description of what it did. And if I go to the files inside pages folder, I can see my new page. Now I can drop it also directly on the board. Okay, I will put the two screens now next to each other, but I can see there's an 18 problem in my project. So do I need to freak out? No, God, please, no, no. The simple answer is no. You can simply go back to the agent and ask it to fix all the errors in the project. As you can see here, it started to list all the problems by itself. Oh, and the number dropped to only four problems. Okay, now we don't have any problem anymore. Nice. Now I can see a description of what the AI did to fix all the problems, so I have an awareness of what happened. Okay, now so let's play the app just to check. So now I can see the home page here, and when I click on the music, I can go to the new page created, and it looks amazing. So now I want to focus on a single screen so I can open it in its own view. And by the way, I can use the AI agent to change a specific widget, not just a screen. So here I selected the text widget and ask it to add an icon next to it. Now it will add an icon that matches the theme and the context of the widget. This is amazing. Hmm, so now let's see how can I even make this UI better. So let's say if we select the container here and maybe we want to make it more glowing so we can ask the agent to do that. Wow, this is amazing. The users will love that effect. Let's now play the app to see how it looks like. I can see there's a small cutting in the top and the bottom. So we can actually fix this visually. So all we need is a simple padding. So let's wrap the column with padding and add a vertical one. Let's now play the app. Perfect, but we have to make it slightly more. So let's go back to the padding in the column and make it even more. All right, now let's play again the screen and see. Okay, perfect. Now there is no problem with it at all. By the way, we can also see the source code of the whole screen if we click on the code chip. And we can even modify the code and we can see the effect of the change right away. So now let's go, for example, and change this text from good morning to, for example, hey there. If we click on compile, we can see it instantly updated. This means that beside AI and visual editing, you can use code to change anything. Now let's open VS Code. And remember, we created a local project, so we can open it in VS Code as a normal Flutter project. And the nice thing about it is that any change we do in VS Code or in NOAA will sync instantly with the other. So here, if we change the text widget here, it will change instantly inside NOAA. It's the same thing if we, for example, change the color, we can see the change instantly or even the font size. So what else I can do? Well, you can modify anything in the generated code. And beside changing simple values, you can even change the widget tree. So for example, if we wrap this text widget with a container and give this container a color, we can even see the results instantly inside NOAA. And the nice thing is that you can even continue modifying on it directly inside NOAA. This is what's called the hybrid approach. 
Now, I want to make my app slightly more alive, so I want to add animations to the play button. So I selected the button and I asked the agent to create some animations. So let's see what it will do. All right, now I can see a description of the animation it created. But for me, I want to see this with my own eyes. So let's play the app and go for the second screen. The animation is really nice, but it kind of breaks the layout a little bit. Let's see it on an iPad. Yeah, it breaks the layout, so we want to fix this. So again, let's ask the agent to fix the problem. Here, I will describe the problem in detail and give it enough context. This is always good for the agent, so it gives us the best results. Okay, now I can see it is modifying the build method inside now playing screen. This means that the problem is located there. Okay, now it's done. It gives me a description that it fixed the animation issue. But let's see this in action. So let's actually switch back the device to the iPhone and go for the second screen and test. All right, amazing. The problem with the layout is fixed. But notice one thing, if we went back to the iPad, we can see the layout is perfect. But if we go to the iPhone, we can see that the last row is not visible, where it has lyrics and some important buttons. So let's say try to test the agent again and see if it can fix this issue. And here I give it all the context it needs to understand the problem. Now notice that the last row is not inside the screen frame on the board. Now I can see it is modifying the screen. Now it's done and I can even see on the board that the row now is inside the screen frame, which is a good sign. I got you, homie! So now let's be sure that it is actually working by playing the app. Perfect. Now we can see the four buttons inside the screen and I can even click on the lyrics and I can see a beautiful pop-up that shows the lyrics. I am loving this app at this point. Now I will comment the changes on my local repo. Since it's a local Flutter project, I could easily create a local repository and push it to GitHub. Something else I can do is run my app on an actual simulator. So in this menu, I can see all the simulators running on my device and I selected already the iPhone 16 plus. So now I will run my app on the simulator. I can see now it's building the app. Now I can see the app is running, but I noticed there is a small layout overflow problem, but don't worry about it. We can easily fix this later, but I can see I can scroll in the app. I can open the now playing screen and I can see the lyrics page all look amazing. So let's now fix the problem of the layout overflow. So the cause of the issue is that last time we added too much padding, so we just need to adjust it. Now when we save the project, we can see the update instantly appear in the simulator and the problem of the layout went away. Now this is called the hot reload. So let's see here, for example, if we want to change the color of the text and we save it, we instantly see the results in the simulator. This is amazing because the speed of the update is exactly as the native Flutter hot reload without any delay. One last touch I want to do on the UI is to make this icon more glowing. So I will use the agent to do that. Notice that now the widget is being worked on. Wow, the icon is now beautifully glowing. And if I save the project, I can see the simulator instantly updates. So what if you want the UI to be like a screenshot that you have? So I went to Pinterest and I found this nice looking music streaming app and I saved the image. I will use the agent to make my homepage looks like this screenshot. So let's see the output it will produce. So I attached the screenshot and I told the agent to make my music player app matches the design of that screenshot. Wow, look at that. The whole design was changed to look like the screenshot. Amazing. And as always, I can see a description of what the agent did. So now let's just play the app. And the app looks amazing in the play mode. But I noticed that not everything is functional. So we have to fix this. So let's ask the agent to make the screen interactive and functional. So now I can see the screen is getting modified. And on the left side, I can see a lot of things are getting modified. Now it's done and I can see a description of what it did. It said it added a search functionality, a favorite system, music playback, profile integration, and more. So let's play the app and see those things in action. So I can see there's a search functionality. And when I click on the music, I can see some options like play or like. When I play, I can see the music playing. And when I click on it, I can see the now playing screen. So if I click on like to like a song, and if I go back again to the uh, favorite menu, well, I can see here a placeholder. I cannot see the actual song that I liked. So this is a problem and we can ask the agent to fix it and to make the system actually works.
okay it says that it can see the issue that it is using placeholder values not the actual values and i can see that it is modifying a lot of things at the same time now i can also see the thinking process between each step it is done and it gave me a description of what it did to make it functional so let's play the app so now if we click on the favorite we can see that there is no music added yet all right so let's now like a song and see if it will be added perfect we can see the song being added let's add another one perfect we can also see the other one so now the system is working perfectly did you know that the free plan now includes unlimited code download ai access and desktop version so go to know the dev and give it a try and start building something big today